Hi, it's Tom, and this is a clip from the How to Write a Perfect CV course, and I'm just going to show you a bit of a walkthrough on how to transform the first page of your CV into something that really grabs attention. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is a little example, uh, and I really like this one because I worked with him for a while as a candidate. Um, this gentleman is an excellent candidate, presents himself really well. Um, he's an engaging, interesting uh, guy, and he's got loads of really valuable experience, but he was just struggling not only to get some interviews, though he was getting pretty good interviews, um, struggling to sometimes close the, the full process. And we looked right back to his CV, where we thought we could make him stand out more from the very beginning. So he walks in the door at a higher level. Um, so this is the case study, uh, and I've actually taken this from part of the paid for course, the Get a Job, Get a Raise program, where I do a really deep dive into CV writing. I give a full masterclass webinar as well as loads of resources and some other mini chats. Um, and this is one of the case studies that I've used uh, amongst others in other sectors, other other job titles, etc. But he's a project manager. Uh, and in this case study, this is the part of his CV that was a just below his contact details. So you imagine you've opened up his CV, I've obviously taken all the details off. Um, and this is an opening paragraph um, where you might say, well, I've, listening to the tips that I've given so far today, well, he's done all those, right? This stands out to me. Some people might say he's even used some some facts and figures, um, managed multi-million dollar project budgets, um, 20 years plus of success. You know, he seems like a good candidate. Um, so if we just have a quick read through it, the strategic and solution oriented technical program leader behind rapid ROI generating advances in organizational capability and performance, 20 plus years uh, of success collaborating with clients uh, and leading global project teams, leveraging advanced development methodologies, tools and processes to improve delivery, integration of innovative cutting edge solutions. You might say, wow, um, you know, that's as good as it gets, right? That's a great opener for someone uh, of his caliber. But the truth is it's boring. Uh, everyone else has exactly the same kind of CV. Um, if a hiring manager puts out a job advert, they're gonna get 20, 40, 60 candidates who've all written exactly the same kind of thing at the top of their CV. So we need to just overhaul this. We need to make it absolutely stand out straight away. So this is what we turned it into. Now, obviously there's a little bit more content. We've list, lifted some stuff from other areas of his CV. Um, and this is now the, the front page that would be just under his contact details as well. But you can see, um, obviously I've, I've removed the identifying information of the clients he's worked for in the past and the organizations he's worked for. But immediately just the layout uh, as well as the content makes him stand out from the crowd and shows that he is a top of the market candidate. Um, we've put a skill summary at the top left, and this is a nice, neat, short way to highlight what he's a specialist in. And also this would be tweaked depending on the job he's applying to. So you've got e-commerce, supply chain, warehouse specialist. Um, you've got a couple of other things that he's particularly good at and the kind of things that would be in a uh, job specification. So that's where you can put a couple of keywords for the job specification. Um, you know, something, something specialist, uh, experience with X, Y, and Z. Okay. So we want a couple of key things there in the top left. So people look at it and go, this is the right kind of person for me. Um, notable projects. So this is the section where you can really stand out and hiring managers can start to get a feel for the kind of caliber that you are, the kind of person that you are, um, the scope of the things that you've worked on might be a little bit easier because he's a project manager. So he's worked on very discreet, clear projects. But again, in the full course, you can see all the kind of examples from different sectors, how we've really overhauled their CVs as well. Um, but we've also used facts and figures. Um, so look clearly how you've got budget 16.3 million, uh, all personally managed, 227 total staff and 29 with direct reports. Um, the result 65K under budget, increased production of a 16 billion pound operation by 2% in year one. Now that is right there at the top of his CV. So a hiring manager looks at that and goes, okay, this person knows what they're doing. They deserve to be in my company. It would be amazing to get that kind of person uh, on board. Okay. Um, so we've wowed in the first third of our CV. We've used facts and figures. And also we've made it about how you help others or it's more 
it's, it's not just about you. Um, it's about what you've done in really cold, hard facts and figures. Not just I'm an enthusiastic worker. I'm, I love this. I'm passionate about this. Um, you can see it's all really clear. This is what I'm here to do. And when I join you, I will be doing it. Um, even the personal summary, we've broken up. We've used the same kind of content as that past paragraph, but we've said 20 years plus success, uh, years of success, collaborating with clients and creating global project teams. We've broken up into paragraphs. We've emboldened sections to make it really easy to read. Again, in that top third, manage significant capital is in bold. Extensive experience resolving complex problems and managing C-suite stakeholders in high pressure business critical situations. These are kind of things that they asked for on the job specifications that this candidate was applying for. And then underneath we've got certifications because that can sometimes be a bit of a barrier. Um, doesn't matter if it comes at the bottom of your CV either, but not having certain things can sometimes be a limiting factor. So I hope that this example clarifies the three points uh, that I've made uh, and shows you how you can actually implement it and actually change your CV rather than just hearing it and thinking that you're already along those lines. So if your CV doesn't look something like this, um, whatever sector you're in, then you can definitely improve it. And like I said many times, it will change how you are received from day one when your CV lands on the desk of the hiring manager. It'll change the way you're interviewed uh, and the way you come across in interviews without having to change interview, interview performance. Though, of course, we want to improve that as well. And it will make salary negotiation much, much easier. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that clip from the How to Write a Perfect CV course. And the link will be below so you can sign up to that if you want even more information, uh, including loads of examples, plenty of templates, and many more step-by-step -step walkthroughs just like this uh, across different sectors so that you can see exactly how you can transform your CV into something that gets attention, gets your foot in the door, uh, and most importantly, gets you a job and gets you a raise. Thank you. <laughs>